this is a good time for me to tell everyone that I'm actually not pissed. Have you seen what I've been going through? Okay, These but past I'm not days. Like, I'm not mad. Bro, imagine, imagine putting your heart and soul into a project and then releasing it to the world and everyone's going, ha ha, ass, trash. <laughs> you suck, bro. You even had me fooled. JJ, you've been on the internet for how many years now? I mean, you should be used to that stuff. Yeah, but it's when it's my music, it's personal. Yeah, but what do you- I'm literally making music about my life. So after almost a month of having Coco sessions, mental breakdown sessions brought to you by KSI, he claims that, that it was all a part of his plan. He claims that none of the words hurt him because he was at the thick of it. And he claims that with the whole drama with Lunchly and Dan TDM, he saw an opportunity with his new music coming out to promote it, to market it, and act local. I'd say the only thing I would have done is probably the two tweets that I pointed, uh, I did at uh, Dan. The first two. I think those those were genuine. Yeah. Those were me like, this guy. Yeah. Don't can come on my business, da, 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 da. But then, because I had a single coming out, I was like, oh my God, I can just use this as a way to market my song. Bro. I can use all this hate, all this attention, and just drive it to people going to my song. If you act angry, yeah. this is what I've learned that you've taught me, yeah. people will just continue to make fun of you yep. for the song. <laughs> yep. But that only contributes to the streams, the views. The yeah. You know, I put the song out and it was just getting a ton of hate. People were clowning on it. And, you know, I know the song is good, but I know a lot of people, you know, are just going to jump on the trend. A lot of people are sheep. They're just going to follow and just do whatever they want to do. So I was like, all right, cool. Let me just lean into this and be pissed off, angry, tell people, guys, stop, stop making memes, knowing that they're gonna make more memes. And according to KSI, that is how the story goes. Well, I'm here to tell you, that is not how the story goes. He claims that he's, you know, he's been the mastermind behind this. Oh, if you are donkeys, I donkeyed all of you by promoting my song. First of all, even Megatron knew that this whole thing was a marketing strategy, but he's leaving the story incomplete. The words definitely went through the thick of it and made him thin 100 percent i'll bet my right toe that i don't know about no ice i'm just cold the ice turned into it melted into tears <laughs> i feel like if you really want to get to me uh you'll never know what actually gets to me mm. yeah i just don't put that out in public yeah <laughs> yeah but it's when it's my music it's personal yeah <laughs> Mr. Mystery Man over here is claiming that you don't know what will hurt me. This is like when someone tells me, Oh, Kush, what happened to you? You still have six packs and now you have love handles and have one big fat family pack KFC pack. And you know what I tell them? This is sign of richness. This is money. You see this love handle on the left? That's money. D Daddy vibes, uh, rich vibes. But deep inside, I am crying in pain. This is what KSI is saying. You don't know what's going to hurt me. My music? I don't really care about my music. It's not like I take my music seriously. It's not even my main source of income. I don't care about it at all. This is when you know he cares about it. And the shit that he said on Aiden Ross's stream, it was true. And the thing is, you know, it's the internet. You can't fight and beat the internet. What you can try and, I guess, play the internet in a way to work in your favor. Now I'd like to speak on behalf of the people watching this channel, the KSI mental breakdown sessions. We all knew, even a donkey who doesn't know anything about marketing knows that this whole thing was marketing. Don't, don't, don't post it. Don't, don't make fun of my song guys. Stop it, please stop it. Well, no shit you want people to do it. Reverse psychology, my friend. That's how people take advantage of a situation and market it in their favor. That's how it works. You market it, you juice it, you take advantage of the situation. And the way KSI juiced it was uh, the hate that was coming towards him and he decided to push it towards his song. But my question is, is it, was it worth it? He goes on and he says that it is becoming one of his biggest videos ever made on YouTube and has been doing this shit for so long and one of his most viral videos being in 2024 is absolutely insane. But let's, let's talk, let's look at the ratios, the likes and the dislike situation. Personally, this is my opinion. I wouldn't want to have a very extremely viral video with over like what 70 percent dislikes or even have a song in the top 100 billboards for people hating and trolling it and you tell yourself that the song is good i know it's good i know the song is good but so does literally everyone else who produce music 
they think their shit is good too. So just like Britain's Got Talent, you gotta leave the feedback to the people. Just because you think it's good doesn't make it good. I'm just saying. Wait, I'm sounding like a fucking generational hater. I'm just stating facts. Just listening to myself, I come out as a hater. But the, my point is, top, what, 61 on the billboards currently sitting right now. Maybe it's even lower. Yes, it is going to be your best song yet, but it is going to be your worst song according to to people this is how it's going to be remembered until the end of time or oh, remember the thick of it everyone's gonna go like into the thick of it uh, to the ring to the bling my king and everyone's just gonna start giggling and laughing about it because it was a whole troll happening on the internet everyone knew it was a snowball everyone just jumped on it because we have nothing better to do and it was just fun being part of this whole troll thing end of the day there's no hate from our side or his side he was having fun with it. We were having fun with it. Everyone just had a good time and laughed about it. On the screen. To the, the ring, ring, to the pen, to the king. I've been stuck in my head. Everyone loves it. Everyone loves they it. They love it. I have no problem with the song. I just think the lyrics are cringe. I don't know about no ice. I'm just cold. I think the rhyming in the song is pretty good. But when it comes to the lyrics, I want to take my armpit hair out and be in pain whenever I listen to it. And with KSI's response, I just make these videos to just have fun with the situation and just kind of make fun of him. I would say it's not hate. It's just content, having fun with it. And this is an interesting part where I'm going to make a comment later on. This is the part where KSI admits that Dan, he was so happy that Dan TDM made this comment so he could squeeze his way into this whole marketing strategy strategy, strategy that he had. Dan crushed it. That was, that's amazing. Well, I'm so, <laughs> so happy he tweeted because like, Oh my God, he just made this way bigger than it was the beginning it of the ever snowball. Been. Yeah. Bro, like without him, I probably wouldn't have uh, a. No, no, I wouldn't say that. You should give him production credits. No, no, I was about to say, like, <laughs> I wouldn't have like a, a top 10 or a, one, uh, a song in the uh, top 100, but I feel like it would have done. It eventually, but not this fast. Oh, if Dan TDM didn't comment that about the song and I didn't overreact and just marketed this whole thing, the song would have done well over time as well. I actually want to know who told him that the song is good. Oh, I know someone who told him. JJ told him that the song is good. This feels like people came out to him and be like, JJ, I love you, but... Maybe not go to a, to a king. I am a king. I am not ice. I am just cold. This is when you tell your friend who broke up with their boyfriend or girlfriend that, you know, they are not going to change. You are better off without them, but they're in denial. This is the key word, denial. And they're like, no, he or she, even though they cheated on me, is a pretty good person. And I love them either way. So I'm going to ignore you, my friend who's giving me advice. And I'm going to go do my thing either way. Same thing with KSI. The song is good. No, KSI, it's not that good. Well, it's it's pretty fucking good. Everyone loves it. <laughs> okay, wait. I'm actually coming up as a generational hater. Honestly, at this point, you are going to cook me with your comments. Kush, you're just a hater. Kush, you're just a hater. Kush, you're just a hater. You're a generational hater. Did you make a song? He made a song. Did you make a song? Well, yes, indeed. I made a song if you missed the video on it. 14 years ago, the title of the song is The Kiss of It by Lil Kush. It was about how my imaginary girlfriend broke my heart. I got two kids and a lovely wife. All I wanna say is have a great life. His music is obviously personal to him and he wants everyone to like it the way he likes it. I think there are people who enjoy these type of musics, but after seeing all the negative shit that people have been saying about it, yes, he juiced it up and it became bigger, but deep inside he is hurt that a lot of people just made fun of it as if it's a Disney song because he made this song about the story of his life. People are really having a laugh. They don't go like, oh my God, I hate you, KSI. Fuck your forehead. They're not doing that. It's just we're having fun with the, let's just say, the snowball. That's the way they phrased it. We're just going with it, having fun with it, having a laugh about it. He's benefiting with his song going viral and we're benefiting with having a good time and just having a laugh about this whole thing. That's, that's the whole thing. It just ended. He came clean as if we are donkeys. We didn't know this whole thing. But anyways, just wanted to talk about this. I found this whole thing interesting. And the reason you were sitting all day waiting for me to upload a video so you can enjoy your meal and your meal went cold because I didn't upload a video yesterday because you don't cheat on me with other creators, obviously, which is very obvious, obviously, is because I went bike shopping. This is my new bike. And also, here's a video of me riding my new bike.
thank you for taking time out of your life to watch the video of me riding my bike and also i was just at my site also irl job so i had to finish that up it took me all day so i was just pretty beat to make a video i apologize for that but as usual let me know your thoughts in the comments like subscription it if you're new here take it easy i'll see you at the next one